Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. In today's video, I'm gonna go over recent updates for both the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model S Raven with regards to power increases. So if you've been following Tesla for a little while, you've uh, seen that uh, Elon Musk stated that there were power increases coming for both cars. I've got my Tesla Model 3 Performance, which received the update just the other day. And my friend has the Raven Model S that just got the update as well. And what we have for you in this video is before and after testing for the Model 3 and before and after testing for the Model S. We're gonna go over the numbers here. Let's dig right into it. So at my Tesla Model 3 performance, the testing I did when I first got the car, uh, zero to 60 times I'm gonna put up here, 3.1, 3.1, 3.05, and 3.08. Now after the, up, I, by the way, I really wanted to hit zero to 60 in 2.99 seconds. I tried quite a few times and just wasn't able to get it. Now with the Model 3, there is, in the release notes, it says there's a 5% increase. So based on 475 horsepower at 3%, you're not talking about that much horsepower, maybe 25, 30 horsepower, somewhere in that range of an increase. Given the weight of the Model 3, we don't expect like crazy, crazy gains, but I was super excited to go out and try it and see if I could get zero to 60 in under three seconds. And here's what we got after the update. I'm going to admit it wasn't easy to get, but we did get zero to 60 in under three seconds just one time. So I'm going to put up the screen here. We got 3.03, 3.038, and then 2.998. So we did get that magic number, the increased power, dropped the zero to 60 for the first time to just under three seconds. And the next one was 3.012. I still have to say the Model 3 comes off pretty weak and it would be nice to be able to power break or get a little bit of a launch run on this car because I think getting zero to 60 in 2.8, 2.9 seconds would be very, very easy with just a little more oomph off the line. So on to before and after testing of quarter mile using the V-Box. So this is the same stretch of road uh, that I used at very close to 100%. And before I got uh, quarter mile, in 11.637 at 115.48 miles an hour. After the update, I got 11.48 at 117.49 miles an hour. So that's a pretty significant top end increase uh, from 115 to 117. Uh, however, I have seen other people before the update at actual quarter mile tracks hit that 117 mile an hour mark. So overall summary for the Model 3, I think there definitely is a noticeable increase in the power. I can't say driving the car actually notice a huge difference, but the numbers right here are actually showing a, a little bit of a difference. I think if someone's got these smaller, lighter wheels on their Model 3 with the performance update at close to 100% charge, I think someone already has 11.4. It'd be pretty cool to dip down into the 1130s uh, in the Tesla Model 3. All right, now on to the Tesla Model S. This is where things get just a little bit muddy. Uh, there was an update. It does say acceleration is improved, but it doesn't say there's peak power. Now, if you recall back on the one I did the uh, fake news with the Taycan versus the uh, Tesla Model S with Top Gear, Elon actually tweeted out that there would be a peak increase of 50 horsepower. Now, on the Tesla Model S, you can actually measure within the car the output of the vehicle. So if you have your car in ludicrous plus mode, hold down the uh, ludicrous plus button for a few seconds, go into the space balls mode or whatever you call it, get the car completely heated up, a display comes up similar to this. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll put a screenshot up that will actually show your peak power of the front and rear motors as well as the peak battery power. So as per Elon's tweet, we're expecting 50 horsepower, of course, the displays here are measuring in kilowatt, uh, in kilowatts, so, that means about a 38 kilowatt increase in power. And I've got the numbers and we're not seeing that. And that might be because we actually didn't get a horsepower bump. If you look at the release notes that show up in the Tesla Model S Raven that my friend got, it just says acceleration performance in ludicrous mode has been improved by tuning the front motor to produce more power and when using launch mode, optimizing torque distribution. Uh, and then it goes on and tells you how to how to uh, do that. It does not say you get an increase in power. It just says they're redistributing the power. And that's actually exactly what we saw when we measured the numbers. So if you look at the before and after numbers uh, at almost 100% uh, launching the car, 
I'm going to put up the numbers right here. Uh, before, there was a peak of 580.7. After, the peak is 584.2. That's nowhere near the 38 that we're expecting. Now, if you look at the distribution between the front and the rear, before, it was a peak of 169 on the front and the rear of 364. On to the after results, you can see that they did move some power to the front. We're now getting 188 on the front. And on the rear, it actually dropped down to 355. So we lost 10 in the rear and basically moved it up to the front. But what exactly does that mean in the real world? Well, we did some real, <laughs> we did some real world testing with uh, the Draggy, and we actually get to show you right now exactly what before and after is. And uh, my view, as you'll see after the numbers, is that we did not get that 50 horsepower update yet. So it'd be Interesting to hear a response from Elon to confirm that we didn't get the 50 horsepower, that all we did now is kind of redistribute the power from the rear to the front, maybe to help on acceleration. Uh, and even there, you'll see in the numbers right now, we got a tiny bit better, but nothing real, nothing really significant. It just could just be, uh, um, you know, um, errors between or differences between uh, different runs. All right, so on to the draggy numbers. I'm going to load up the previous numbers before the update, which I actually used in my Top Gear video to show that the car can run well into the tens in the on the street. And it ran 1067 at 124.7 miles an hour. Half mile came in at 17.2 seconds at 147.58 miles an hour. And after the update, here are the numbers. We got the quarter mile in 10.66 at 125.7 miles an hour. And the half mile came in at 17.16 at 148.21 miles an hour. Uh, that, th there's definitely a, an increase in performance if you want to look strictly by the numbers of the after results, although it's pretty insignificant. I mean, 1066 to 1067, that's 100 to 7. You can't even snap your fingers quick enough to determine the difference between that. Now, on the speeds, yeah, sure, you did pick up one mile an hour in the quarter mile and uh you know just under one mile an hour on the half mile that's definitely not like a peak horsepower of 50 that uh, was tweeted out by elon so in summary my feeling is that we did not get the horsepower bump in the, this update it's definitely not enough to make a significant difference when racing the Taycan turbo s so that's it hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments hopefully we can get a response from tesla to say hey in this update, for the Model S at least, we didn't do the power increase yet. We just redistributed power, and we still expect to get that 50 horsepower bump. And if we do get that 50 horsepower, I'm expecting these 1060 runs to drop into the 1040s, which will be super exciting. And uh, as soon as we get that, we're, we'll go out and test this in the real world uh, on the Draggy and at the drag strip. In other Tesla news, uh, the Tesla pickup truck is due out next Thursday. Uh, I still haven't got my invite. I don't know if other people have gotten their invites to the to see that unveiling. I think I should get invited based on a referral program and the VIP uh, program that I was in before. I've been invited to most of the other events. So hopefully Tesla, Tesla gets those invites out soon because they're not leaving a lot of time for air travel, hotel, and bookings to get out there. So hopefully I get invited. And if I do get invited and you're out there as well, make sure you say hi uh, at the event. It should, I'm super excited to get out there. And uh, maybe they'll have some more surprises uh, like they did last time with the uh, semi-truck unveiling. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Hit the like button and uh, hit subscribe and we'll keep the videos coming related to Tesla and other racing stuff that we do. Thanks for watching.